Oh, are we gonna get lift? Come on, rocket bus! I just ran out of rocket juice, and maybe, just maybe, because of that rocket power, will it push us over the ledge? What is going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today, we are starting off with an engineless car. Now, I know that sounds weird because we're looking at an engine right now, but yes, this is actually a pedal car. Why there's an engine on the front, I don't know. I think the developer is still working on this car, and it's actually going to be engine-powered one day. Uh, but I love pedal cars. They absolutely suck in every way, and that's what makes them so fun. So, we're at Mount Kutha right now, because I want to see how fast we can get this thing to go. It's a rather relaxed mountain. You don't go too fast, it feels like. And we'll see if we can make it all the way down with a engineless car. So, yeah, the brakes. Let's actually test those things out. I've been holding the butt button since I said that. And, well, it's slowing down, but it really is hardly a brake at all. I mean, you'd have more force if you put your feet on the ground, because clearly there's no floor in this thing as well. But yeah, I figured we'd try and uh, see if we can maybe make it down to the edge of this mountain. It actually looks like it might top out for some reason at 27 miles per hour. And that's not really a fun speed to go at. I was hoping to go 200 miles per hour by the end of this mountain down in an engineless car because that's what would have been fun. But yeah, as you can see, we are still at 27 miles per hour. Maybe if we got a little bit of a bigger hill, we wouldn't be stuck at this. Uh, oh, 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 God. Okay, she didn't mean to do that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, we actually got first-person view as well. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but this thing is not very well put together either. It is, like, wobbling like crazy. You know what? Let's just go in for a crash here. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a tree or something. Actually, these sticks should work well. And see what kind of... Oh, never mind. Okay, a little bit of off-roading, too. Just, you know, testing out the suspension, which is non-existent. Back up to full speed. This time, we're gonna go for a tree hit here and see how this thing can crunch, because, yeah... It doesn't crunch. It's made out of jello. All right. Well, let's see if we can get it past the elusive 27 miles per hour by going down the car jump arena. It also might be so light that it might be able to do the jump. I don't know. It depends on how fast this thing actually gets. So, yes, obviously, if you have a steep enough hill, this thing can go indeed faster. Uh, but going down the relaxing Mount Kutha uh, was a little bit too relaxed for it. Now, we're still only going 60 miles per hour, though. Probably the slowest we've ever gone down this thing. I don't even know if we're gonna make it I mean technically you can't make it right because I think it's a road right below this road if I remember correctly. So yeah <laughs> but we don't like... <laughs> What the hell it's perfect. Oh God, can you destroy this thing is that even possible? All right gonna go in for the wall over here at uh, a super speedy 40 miles per hour. Here we go Really? I actually <laughs> broke the game. Oh, man. So you cannot crash this thing. Okay, this is totally not a dumb idea. This is the best idea I've ever had. Oh, my. How am I going 227 miles per hour? How is this thing straight? I, I expected it to hit the wall here because you cannot drive this at all. This is going faster than the other car, though. And it's in a freaking shopping cart. Oh, my God. We're going over 100 miles per hour straight. I don't get how it's going straight. I thought we'd try this, though. I think we just lost a wheel. Ah, oh, dude. That was actually really amazing. <laughs> now, that more looks like the typical shopping cart that I find at the old Walmart. You know, hanging out with three wheels, maybe even two. Hard to tell because it's in the sand and totally busted up. That went really well. All right, what kind of weird area are we in now? Well, you'd be surprised to know we are, in fact, on the moon right now. We're in a gravity tube, basically, and when we get out of this place, we're going to experience moon gravity. So, yeah, uh, we're in the Gravo Bar Barstow off-road edition, of course, because I felt like that would be something that's really good at dealing with the moon, and holy crap! Oh, I didn't expect to be at the top. Okay, this... Is this gonna make it? I mean, obviously, we're in moon gravity right now, so this... Wow, this is really cool, actually. Is that, uh... That, that's gotta be the sun over there. Where's Earth? I, w I wanna actually try and make it to Earth with, with, a, with a vehicle. That would be great. Okay, we're gonna have to pull up the back end a little bit, because we're about to hit the ground. Trying to pull it up. It's not really working too well. Oh, my God! I honestly didn't expect that. I thought we'd just bounce a little bit. No, we freaking exploded the thing. Now, you might not want to put your tube at the top of a mountain. That's not a very good idea. 
But yes, we're going to experience some uh, beautiful slow-mo crashes now because of the weightlessness. All right, she's a bit of a tight squeeze, but I felt like if there's anything that's going to be worthy on the moon, it's an ATTE. Are we going to... We actually might hit the roof here. It's slowly getting closer and closer. Just enough room to let my wings fly. I don't have wings on this, but I should have wings at this point. Look at this, though. Now... Uh, we have experimented with the ATT in the past, and it is remarkably indestructible. So even if we, you know, flip around here, we should hopefully be able to land it. I'm trying my best to keep this on the front, but it is not listening to me. So we are going to have a little bit of a fun crash here. Hopefully we can land on the wheels. The thing with uh, no gravity or very low gravity crashes is these crashes take forever. All right, come on. There we go. Land on those wheels, and... Easy now, Tiger. One more roll. Can we do it? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. No! Oh, my God. It's just constant. It just keeps going. I don't think that's going to work. But we're playing BeamNG. So the great thing about BeamNG is you can pull anything that you want. So we're just going to... Jeez, man. It's like a freaking top. It doesn't stop doing this. Problem is, this is a really heavy vehicle, too. So even this might not help. Finally! We have done it. Okay, it actually might be too broken to work. As you can see, the middle wheels, it kind of like broke its back or something. And actually, remarkably, this did a lot of damage to the poor thing. Still, though, we're able to use it. All right, so now you experience what it's like on the moon, and already I have flipped it. So clearly, this is a little bit too fast. You need something that's clearly slow, or you're just going to get too much air, uh, which is exactly what we did there. All right, so far, no signs of stopping. We're actually flying right now, basically. Just got to make sure we stay on the wheels, and that's the important part. I don't think it's going to be hard at all. As long as we don't flip it, we should be okay. Oh, man, we... <laughs> I got to get used to moon gravity, man. This is, this is trippy. Okay, here we go. The Great Descent. I mean, let's take a minute to appreciate just the angle of this. It's hard to judge when we're following it, but we're almost going directly sideways. Well, maybe not that aggressive, but still... This would never work on Earth gravity, so I'm just, like, flying up it, too. Like, I'm getting air. I'm basically coasting up this more than anything else. Ooh, that might have been too big of a jump. Come on. If we can grab the wheels here, we might be able to keep it going. There we go. Keep bouncing around till we make it to the top. Nope. This is probably where I end it. Oh, but honestly, it would have been so easy to get to the top if I would have took my time. Unfortunately, we are on the roof of this bad boy now. And just out of curiosity, we have to try and see if we can jump the moon. So I'm in the B-10 Destroyer Track Edition right now, uh, just to give myself a little bit of handling. And I just want to see, we hit that at 200 miles per hour already, but I don't think it's going to be close. I don't think we're going to get all the way to the edge, though. We might need to get the actual land speed record edition out. Yeah, it's going to be real close, actually. But yeah, definitely looks like we're going to hit the top of that mountain, and uh, that was actually really impressive, considering that was just the track day version, which goes like 600 miles per hour, something crazy like that. All right, let's try the land speed record edition now. I'm trying my best to keep it straight. I don't even think that was as fast because I was bouncing around everywhere, so oh, it's so close, though. I wonder if the Dio Valente will be able to do it. Because, yeah, they get close, but they do hit the, w the wall over here. And there we go. And, yeah, even the Dio Valente, obviously, as you can see, it actually doesn't look like it's going to go as far, unfortunately. I'm trying to use my wheel spin to my advantage. But, yeah, no. Even, even with these crazy supercars, unfortunately, we still can't jump the moon. Oh, are we going to get lift? Come on, rocket bus. I just ran out of rocket juice, and maybe, just maybe, because of that rocket power, will it push us over the ledge? No, we're just going to flatten right on top of it. Man, I tried so hard, but I really can't jump this crazy crater. All right, and to end off with, why not have the world's most luxurious bumper car battle? We're in the castle on Italy, and this is the perfect bumper car arena. Now, my opposition... He's not the smartest. He's running into the owl statue right now, trying to turn into me. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to win this one clearly. But, uh, yeah, I figured we'd give these little bumper cars a try. Get out. What? You you can't. You can't. You can't not have bumpers in, on bumper cars. I mean, what? 
Well, goddamn, this has ruined this whole episode, hasn't it? Like, seriously, I, I thought we were going to end off with the coolest thing ever. A good old bumper car war instead of we're hitting a stupid owl statue. Because we, we can't hit each other? What the? What the, Who makes a bumper car that's bumper carless? All right, you know what? I'm getting the hell out of here then. I'm going to go drive my bumper car elsewhere. God damn, this thing's actually got some speed on it. I've got to say, it does very much feel like a bumper car, though. You know, with that really weird... T steering that they have that you can turn basically on a dime. Well, I'm drifting right now because I'm going so fast, but it very much feels like that. But yeah, fix your damn bumper car. If you can't play bumper cars with a bumper car, it's not a bumper car anymore, goddammit. But yeah, on that, uh, I guess, sad ending, let's end off another <laughs> episode of BeamNG Drive. Regardless, I had a really fun time today playing with some brand new mods that have come out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And as always, if you do want to download any mods that were in this video, links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.